we miss um, you know the real uh, life we're not we're not really living we're just going through life to get what I mean Not very practical. Yeah. Is this is for the noise? Because of the noise? Oh no. No, no. Ah, the sun. So, ah, to keep them there. Before it was the, the Moroccan quarter. Of course, it was full of uh, houses, and I do remember it because uh, I was a, a young uh, girl at that time. And uh, in '67, war started on uh, Monday, and um, Wednesday morning. Uh, the Israelis came inside the old city. By Wednesday evening, they gave the people who are uh, living right next to the wedding wall uh, area. Uh, of course, it wasn't this big, it was a small area. They gave them only two hours to evacuate their places, their houses. And uh, by Friday, the whole lot, all the houses which were here up till the road, you can see the cars coming down there, uh, they were demolished. So in two days, they in demolished days, all the yeah. quarter? Yeah, in two days. And where did they go, these people? Uh, they, some of them, they went to stay for some time with the relatives, yeah. until they could find some place to rent and so on. Uh, I think they were compensated. They gave them compensation money, but they were forced to leave. And how come that your flat that is uh, on yeah, the wedding floor? Uh, uh, it's we are on the fourth level, mm -hmm. so they couldn't demolish uh, our uh, place. And Concerning the street, we are on the second level, so it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. And I think uh, they were satisfied with what they have done. They didn't want to demolish this uh, area. The thing is, they uh, wanted to have this, the whole lot. And what they did is, uh, in 68, uh, when you come from Damascus Gate, sorry, when you come from Damascus Gate through al Road, you mm -hmm. can see the tunnel that is uh, that goes to the wedding hall area. There was no tunnel at that time. So the Israelis used to come all the way up to Chain Street or Bab Silsila and then go through where you have the Fadi Library and go down all the way. But uh, it was, there was a bomb, there was a small bomb which was planted at the end of the stairs and it exploded uh, on a Friday evening. So they evacuated uh, people who lived 
uh, in uh, the house between my house and the library building and they evacuated uh, other uh, houses going down to Arwad Road the, not the first one it's a police station now yeah yeah okay it was uh, evacuated in 68 uh, now in 78 it was kept empty in 78 uh, the building was given to Rabbi Shlomo Boren and he changed it into uh, a yeshiva or a religious uh, school and up to now it's a religious school you can see it up there yes it's the, that's Yeshiva, very big building. Yeah. Yeah. It's in a street or in Arawad? In this street. In this one, ah. Next to the stairs. Here. Ah, okay. This is. They confiscated the... Uh, for security reasons. It was confiscated for security reasons. In 68. And it was given to Rabbi Shlomo Goren in 78. And this was as big as this since the beginning, or they have been like doing it bigger and bigger? They were uh, houses and... Uh, no, but I mean when they demolish, they demolish all this, or they have been demolishing like more... No. They demolished everything. Yeah, so they reached... Uh, and until the there, and then there. And this they are building, no? They are building something there. They like are new renovating. Are ah, renovating. But now I don't know what they are doing. Well, there were houses and they were demolished. Mm. And this, the, the this corridor is new, is new no? Is new, very new. I don't very know, new, I no? I have not been uh, inside, I don't know what it is. It's to go to the Al-Aqsa. Oh, no, no, I haven't been, but they, uh, Hader told me that if I go, yeah. want to go to Al-Aqsa, I have to go yeah. this way. For you, yes. But for me, I don't think No. <laughs> <laughs> but this is strange. <laughs> In Haifa, also this house, they they tried uh, several times to to buy this your flat. Uh, the only this uh, rabbi Shlomo Gore, he offered us uh, an open check or a villa, whatever we wanted. Yeah. Of course, uh, you refused. <laughs> but uh, imagine a tropical island. <laughs> Thank you so much. We don't need that. <laughs> we are happy. Thank you. Imagine a white check. Just you write the, the I amount. Want, I want and Barbados. They will sign. <laughs> oh come on! It's too much. Of course, it's not acceptable. No. Accept it. No. It's something in our uh, blood, in our morals. It's just like selling your own self. Mm. Yes. Places they belong to the holidays, the shop, these two shops. Uh, that's a uh, building up there, in this uh, side of the road. Holidays is your family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and this, uh, not uh, these window. The windows up there. Now um, it's a big building, and it was confiscated for security reasons in '68. Uh, and in 78 it was given to Rabbi Shlomo Goren. He was the chief rabbi of Israel in 67. And um, they confiscated it for security reasons. What, mm. what, what was and now, what security reason? Yeah. And now it's a, a religious school or what they call it in Hebrew, a yeshiva. Yeshiva. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here is 
Yeah. Sure. After. Yeah. You can see it. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But all is confiscated. Oh no, this no, no, no. <laughs> this is not confiscated. <laughs> <in the color. laughs> no, but most of our property in the Jewish quarter, mm -hmm. they were confiscated for one reason or another. Just uh, giving. Uh, what they do? They give you some reason? Or? No. Uh, they went to the tenants and paid key money. To the tenants, and they tried to pay us, but we refused to get money because we're hoping on the long run we can never tell. What's wrong? Ugh. There is something wrong. You have it? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But um, they were confiscated for different reasons, okay? And uh, later on, uh, as I said, we were hoping uh, that a change will happen and maybe we'll get back our properties. I'm not talking about uh, kicking out uh, the people. But at the same time, I'm talking about, okay, you have the place and you uh, paid key money to the <laughs> tenants. Uh, it's only you should pay us rent. Am I right? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. You can never tell. Uh, this is the library building. It's very close to this building, which is, the, as I said, the yeshiva. And it was founded more than 300 years ago. Uh, basically, uh, the person or one of my ancestors who founded the library uh, by the name of Sheikh Muhammad Sunallah Khalidi. And he owned about uh, 600 uh, manuscripts at the very beginning. 600 manuscripts? Yeah, yeah. it's a family library. And um, it shows that um, there were people who were really interested in education and there were people who were living in Jerusalem. I mean, it has a long history, uh, as everybody knows. Mm. Because this building is a very, very old building. It's um, since more or less the 12th century. Now, the thing is, in 67, um, they used to put a piece of paper on empty places and saying, this is absentee property. Hmm. And my father came and uh, started uh, tearing out the, this piece of paper. And a police officer was passing by and he said, you are under arrest. And my father said, why? This is absentee property, that means it's a government property. They said, my father said, okay, do you know how to read? We had a sign, mm -hmm. not this sign. This sign uh, is um, after the renovation. But that sign, it says Khalid Library, founded in 1900 in Arabic and in English and so on. And uh, of course he said, yeah, sure, a police officer. I know how to read, and he read, and uh, my father showed him his ID, and he said, I'm a Khalidi, do I look an absentee to you? This is for security reasons and so on, which is completely stupid, mm -hmm. and uh, Dan Bahat and uh, Amna Cohen said, okay, what kind of, what do you mean by security reasons? There's nothing, this is a library, so there's nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Now, here we have, for example, um, this is the holy book of the Quran. It's more than 400 years old, and it's written in gold. <laughs> this is the holy book. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's handwritten. Oh. 
and these are watermarks. Well, um, the library was closed down in the very early 50s, you know, because of um, political situations and all these things, and, and even even in uh, the 30s and the 40s, it wasn't uh, regularly open, hmm. but it was catalogued and so on. And mainly, it is for scholars hmm. to do some research work hmm. and so on. But was open before it was open to the public from 1900 until the very early or l 1948, 49, something like that. It was hmm. closed down. Hmm. You know, we had donations. Mm -hmm. uh, from uh, different uh, places. Uh, we had donations from the Netherlands government mm -hmm. and we had donations from UNESCO, we had donations from the Welfare mm -hmm. Institute, we had donations now, the last donations we had uh, from the Ford Foundation. And this mm -hmm. is the last thing, I don't know where, I think we need more uh, donations but uh, we'll look for uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. But Some other do you think uh, the go mm, uh, Jerusalem municipality don't have uh, very interest in... Well, when uh, Teddy Kolek was uh, the mayor of Jerusalem, he uh, offered uh, donations, but I refused. Hmm. It's a very, very sensitive uh, Issue. Hmm. But why? Getting donations from the Israelis. Hmm. It's, uh, but uh, because the consequence will be. I really don't know, but. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a very, very sensitive uh, issue, so I don't want to. And if, for example, if a uh, uh, Palestinian authority give you. Well, something? Palestinian authority, okay, but. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking as a Palestinian, how Yeah, 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 yeah oh. I, <laughs> I am a Palestinian. Mm. And do you think if it was created like a national, library, national Palestinian library, this uh, library will go to the national library? Or? I don't think so, because if you remove the books, uh, that means I think uh, the building will be confiscated or something. But it's we not a risk. We have to have the books over here. I mean, yes. um, this is a family property. Mm -hmm. But it's not a risk that uh, this building will be confiscated. Now, no, finish. Uh, I mean, uh, we had uh, final uh, um, court order. Mm. That's it. Israeli, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's going to be confiscated. Long process, no? No. No, it has been a long process. Yeah, mm -hmm. five years. Okay. Where are you going to do this? Just to see you soon.